beauty. Oh, you're ugly, uh, you know, you have crooked teeth, and, you know, your, your hair's falling out, and people are always saying that you're ugly, and, you know, you just don't feel attractive, and you don't, you don't feel beautiful. You feel like you were not given a fair chance in life, and, you know, it's, everybody makes fun of you, calls you names, and this and that, and, beauty. That's, that's a, a big thing for a lot of people. A lot of people don't feel beautiful. And they're so um, wrapped up and absorbed in trying to feel beautiful, you know. And trying to make sure everything is, you know, is right with them. So that, you know, other people look at them and... and hope that their jaw drops and like, oh man, you're so, you're amazing, you know, you're beautiful, and this and that, you know. Um, so I'd like to talk about beauty because I think that this is a, a really important issue when it comes to being healthy, and more so, I think, spiritually than physically. Um, God has a lot to say about beauty. And, you know, that old saying that, um, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder is, is true. Um, you know, because everybody's got different definitions and concepts of beauty and what is beautiful. Um, but nobody actually defines God's concept of beauty. Um, if a person is beautiful to God, then that person will fit God's concept of beauty. And that's what I want to talk about in that, you know, what you think is beautiful may not at all be what God thinks is beautiful. And, you know, we put a lot of stock, I guess, more stock, I should say, in what other people think of us rather than what our Creator thinks of us. And I think that this is um, a shame because it makes people get so wrapped up, you know, in themselves and, and people can't find comfort. They're trying to find comfort in all the wrong places. So I want to read um out of the scriptures first Samuel 16:7 and it says and God's talking to Samuel here he says do not consider his appearance or his height for I have rejected him the lord does not look at the things man looks at man looks at the outward appearance but the lord looks at the heart and you know, what this is saying here is that nothing in a person's outward appearance is going to impress God. Rather, God looks upon the inner beauty, the beauty of one's heart. That's what God looks at. So you may look, you might be like the ugliest person, you know, to other people in the world. But what really matters is your inner beauty. That's what God looks at. He's not looking at how straight your teeth are, how perfect your hair is, the face, of, the shape of your face, how much muscles you have, or anything like that. Not at all. That's not what God is looking at. Um, now, <clears throat> one of the things that God looks at um, to determine if you are beautiful is the awareness of one's spiritual poverty, how low we actually come before a perfect God. If we have sorrow for wickedness, do we hunger and thirst for righteousness? You know, do are we trying to live a righteous life? Are we merciful? Are we showing mercy to people? Um, the purity of heart, are we trying to have a pure heart? And are we, are we a peacemaker? Are we trying to make peace? These are all qualities of beauty, uh, according to God. 
Um, you know, also things that are valued by God are things like keeping a living faith while enduring physical hardships, controlling the tongue. You know, a lot of people just swear and think nothing of it. Uh, enduring personal harm to protect the church's influence. You know, some people aren't bold enough and they don't stand up because they're afraid to get ridiculed and persecuted. Um, so, you know, putting yourself out there, taking a stand, is something that is good. Um, making sacrifices for the good of others. You know, if you know somebody that needs help, do you sacrifice yourself to help them? And living by Christian convictions in the face of ridicule. All of those things are very beautiful to God. And see, these, all these things are dealing with, with the heart, with the inner self. It's not dealing with how ripped you are, how, you know, nice of a smile you have or anything like that. And I thought that I would make this video because, let's face it, a lot of people struggle with this area. And there's no need to feel ugly or anything if you know and believe that your Creator loves you, you know, and that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, as God says. And, uh... You know, I just think that it's a comforting thing to know that no matter what anybody else thinks, know this, that God looks upon your heart. And if you're living according to His will, if you put your faith and trust in Christ, you are beautiful to Him. And it doesn't matter what you look like on the outside, but it matters what you look on the inside. And so... That is very encouraging for a lot of people, and I think that a lot of people needed to hear this. And I know that that's what comforts me and gives me strength and encouragement because, you know, you're only born once. You can't change who you are, you know. And another thing to that I would say here is that, um, you know, just as our beautiful appearance can become ugly through neglect by not taking care of ourselves, so a beautiful life of righteousness can become ugly through neglect. So, you know, if, if you are eating bad and you're smoking and you're not taking good care of yourself, your outward appearance can become more unattractive. You can become you can, you can really become ugly. And a lot of people make themselves ugly by what they choose to do in their life. Likewise, you can become ugly too when you aren't living a life of righteousness. When that inner self can become ugly because you have refused to live for God. You, instead of worshiping Him as Creator, you instead worship idols. Um, you exchange the truth of God for a lie and worship the creation rather than the Creator. And when you do that, you are neglecting um, that spiritual side, that inner side. And you can become ugly. So, you know, we can be, we need to remember that just as it is possible to be one of society's most impressive people and be ugly in the eyes of God. It is also possible to be an unknown in society and be radiantly beautiful in his eyes. So, you could be, you know, one of the most charming, best looking people in the world, like a celebrity, but you could be ugly before God. And also, you could be the ugliest person in society, not be well known not be famous or popular to anyone, but you could be radiantly beautiful in God's eyes. And that is what matters. So, and I got some other little quotes here. Um, there is no cosmetic for beauty like happiness. 
That which is striking and beautiful is not always good, but that which is good is always beautiful. Beauty is eternity, gazing at itself in a mirror. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Beauty is truth, truth, beauty. Beauty is power, a smile is its sword. So, with that, I want all of you guys to know that it's your heart, it's, it's the inside that is beautiful, and what determines that is these things that I've just mentioned. So, with that, don't feel ugly, and... But I will say this, if you aren't living for God, and if you are neglecting yourself, absolutely feel ugly. You will feel ugly. Um, and you won't be joyous or happy or anything like that. <coughs> but if you're doing the right thing, um, you know, and you're, you're striving to live for God, then that's what God looks at. So, with that, take care.